Hello, in this CyberStart cybersecurity tutorial, we'll be doing the headquarters space. So in this walkthrough, we'll do HQ base and level 12. If you are new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. In level 12, we'll do challenge number two, noisy robot. Let's get started. So let's read the briefing. Agent, thanks to your efforts in finding the gang member leading to the effort, sending a robot to the bank, we managed to recover some C code we think might be used by the robot to take photos. But we can't be sure because running it currently returns a segmentation fault. Another agent has rigged up the code to the camera interface. See if you can fix the code, get it to run, and take a photo. So our goal in this challenge is to be able to take a photo, and then the robot returns a confirmation message. Interesting thing to explore is a segmentation fault in C. So we're in the C programming language. So a segmentation fault occurs when a program trying to access a memory location that is not allowed. So basically what that means is that there's not enough memory or as it says, not being able to access the memory location. So looking at strcmp, you can see that it has command. So this car over here and take pictures to this char over here. An interesting thing to note is that from what we learn from segmentation faults, so one reason could be that the string has more characters than eight. So counting here, we have four, five, and we have eight characters here. So we can make this 13, so the length of our string. And that should allow us to fully put this in our memory. Great, so we got our flag for this challenge. Let me copy the flag. Now let's head over to the next challenge. So in this challenge, we'll, we'll do fork in the road. So this is similar to um, the other challenge we did with their kryptonite server. And in this challenge, we need to run a command injection to send the command for a fork bomb to DOS the website. So an important thing for this challenge is how to send a fork bomb. Essentially, a fork bomb is a recursive statement that keeps running in a Linux server and that causes to do a denial of service attack or DOS. So let's get the syntax for the fork bomb. And syntax for fork bomb is just this. So essentially it's just the bash function. And as I said, it gets executed recursively. So in the previous challenge, we found out that the kryptonite server is vulnerable through the n argument. So we could do crypto night dash n and then the semicolon so we can run another command and then we'll put our fork bomb attack. Great, so we shall just challenge two. Make sure to like and subscribe and see you in the next challenge.